This is America. Don't catch you slipping. So I've been living at my apartment for about a month now. However, I've yet to build a work from home setup. Over the past week, I've been accumulating a bunch of packages. However, I've been really busy with work, so I haven't had any time to open these. By the end of today's video, hopefully I've made my work from home setup. So this is my desk, but it's pretty heavy. So I think I'm gonna need some help. Alright, so I just unpacked my desk and I just checked that it perfectly fits in this corner. I was really worried that when I ordered the desk it would be too big to fit in this small space. But thankfully it is just perfect. So now time to assemble the legs. So I just finished getting the desk out of the box. The legs are really heavy actually. Like these bits of metal probably weigh a couple kilos. And I did go for an Ikea desk. I chose the Trotten and I went for the black and white color scheme to match my soulless room and the... <laughs> so if I were a song about girls, it's not about you, then it wouldn't be too old. laying in my tiny dark. So I just finished setting up my table and it fits perfectly in the corner of my room. So I went for a really wide desk and that is because I couldn't get a very long one just because my room is, just because of my room dimensions. So I decided to go for quite a deep desk. I quite like having a deep desk because I can put my like whole arm on the table or just like lean against it. And there's a lot more space to like have a keyboard, monitor. I just need a lot of space on my desk basically. But now on to the monitor setup. So I decided to go for a two monitor setup and I got two 32 inch monitors. They're in these massive boxes here. So yeah, let's unpack them. It took me quite a while in the end to set all of this up. Um, it's now the next day and I basically did all the cabling off camera. But I've got to say the setup is looking pretty clean right now. At least from the top it looks pretty clean. Underneath there's still a bit of cable management I could do. So at the heart of this setup I have this IKEA desk. It's the Trotten and it's the 120 by 70 centimeter version. I went for the white desk paired with the black anthracite legs to match the color scheme of my room. Then for the monitors, I'm going with a two monitor setup. They are both 4K. The monitors are the Ezio EV3285 Flex Gam monitors. And besides looking good, I think the best part about these monitors is it allows charging through their USB-C ports. So you only need one cable to connect into your laptop if you wanna display something on the monitor as well as charge it. So the main driver of this setup is my PC. 
I bought this early last year at kind of a bad time. I think the graphics card prices were at like a local high and also they were pretty rare at the time because everyone was buying them for Bitcoin mining. So I mostly use this PC for gaming, editing videos and coding. So this little think station is a tiny mini PC and it's my work PC. I like it because it's really small so it doesn't really clutter my desk and it means that I don't have two massive PC towers underneath my desk. All I use it for is SSHing into my work PC in the office when I'm working from home. So in the end, it doesn't need to be really powerful. So for my keyboards, I'm using the Logitech MX keys, and this actually replaced my Apple Magic keyboard that I was using last year. I prefer the Logitech MX keys now because it allows you to connect to three different devices using these keyboard shortcuts. So I pair it to my PC, my work PC, and my MacBook. That just means I can have one keyboard for all three devices, and I can just change the connectivity using the press of a button. And it just improves my productivity because I spend less time unplugging and plugging in a keyboard or repairing it to another device. It also has a very similar vibe to the Apple Magic keyboard, so I'm very used to it. It's very low profile keys and they are clicky as well. I'm not really into keyboards that much. I don't really know anything about keyboard switches. I'll literally use anything. For the first few years of uni, I was literally just using a standard like five pound keyboard that I got from home. So for my mouse, I'm using the Logitech MX mouse. And this mouse is very popular among programmers. I think it's because of the unlocked scroll wheel. It allows you to scroll lots of lines of code or just scroll anything really quickly and to be honest it's actually just really fun to fidget with the scroll wheel it has side buttons and also side scrolling so it's very good for shortcuts and also scrolling horizontal pages so that's what makes this mouse very popular amongst programmers so on the topic of programming I often get asked by you guys how should I get into computer science and that's why I partnered with today's sponsor brilliant Brilliant is a fantastic online learning platform which allows you to learn interactively through thousands of hands-on lessons in STEM subjects such as computer science, maths and sciences. Their courses are for all ages and skill levels, so I know many of you are just getting into computer science, so I'd really recommend you guys take the computer science fundamentals or programming with Python courses. These courses will teach you how to think about computer science through reinforcing a deep understanding of the subject. On the other hand, if you're a more advanced user, so if you're at university studying computer science, there are more advanced courses such as the computer memory or artificial neural networks courses that you could take. And you could just do 15 to 20 minutes a day to reinforce your understanding of your university courses. So if you'd like to get started learning and progressing your computer science journey now, you can do so for free at this link here, which will also be in the description below. Also, the first 200 of you that use the link will be able to get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So yeah, thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Anyway, back to the setup. For my headset, I'm using the HyperX Cloud 2s. I think the mic quality is really clear and also it's comfy around the ears as well as being really affordable. And then I also bought this headset mount which mounts underneath the desk and you can just hang your headphones off it so you don't have to clutter your desk when you're not using your headphones. And then for my personal laptop, I have the M1 MacBook Pro in the 16 inch version. It's a really powerful laptop and I use it for editing and coding on the go when I don't have access to my PC. So for example, when I'm traveling, I can still edit videos and upload them whilst I'm away. So in terms of video editing, the M1 MacBook is actually very comparable to my PC's performance. Like rendering times is pretty much similar for a 15 minute video, which is really surprising because my PC is way heavier, the graphics card is just bigger, and the laptop is just so portable. So for my gaming setup, I kind of switch out my keyboard and mouse. For my keyboard, I'm using this mechanical gaming keyboard called the ROG Strix Scope. PBT. As I said, I don't really know much about keyboards, but it just does the job for gaming. And then for my mouse, I use the wireless Razer Viper. It's really light and also comfortable, and it's much more suitable for gaming than my MX mouse. And that's pretty much it for my setup. It's pretty basic, minimalistic, I'd say. I have, most of the time, I just have one keyboard and mouse on my desk. I'd like to keep it pretty clean, but maybe in the future, I'll put in some desk ornaments. I also need to get some speakers. My PC right now is using the monitor speakers and they do the job but it's, the sound quality is just not that good so I end up having to use my headset a lot of the time. And then finally to complete the setup I need to get a proper desk chair because right now I'm using the dining room chair. But yeah that's it for this desk setup video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll link everything in the description box below and I'll see you guys soon.